another situation uh, which normally we come across while designing the earth uh, retention schemes is uh, when the backfills are sloping. So far you must have realized that we have not talked about the backfills with inclination because we did not want to defy the Rankine's theory, alright. So, a Rankine wall is a smooth vertical wall and the backfill is always horizontal and which is retaining the frictional material as a backfill material. So, one of the deviations we did from the Rankine's earth pressure theory is that we have introduced the concept of a C5 soil keeping a vertical wall and horizontal backfill. Now, we are going to deviate further from this situation where I would say find out the earth pressures for uh, sloping backfills. All right. A very complicated situation would be you have a sloping retaining wall and it is retaining a backfill at an inclination of I. And this angle we can define this as beta. The slip surface is going to be now like this, a complicated case. So, if you do the analytical solutions, it will be difficult for you to obtain the earth pressure coefficients K and K P for this situation and hence the P A and P P. Better would be either we go for Coulomb's method which I will be talking about later then we can create a Coulomb's block and mechanistically we can analyze this, this we will do subsequently. Another way would be go for the graphical schemes which I said in one of the lectures that uh, they have become outdated, nobody uses them due to the adv advent of uh, very precise numerical codes, finite element methods and boundary element methods which people are using for solving these type of problems. There are several softwares which can give you these analysis very quickly. So, let us slightly you know easy make this problem easy by assuming that still this is a ranking wall and in this ranking wall which is vertical, the backfill happens to be inclined. Okay. So, this is the initial case when the backfill was horizontal. If I would have taken an element of the soil mass very close to the wall, this is how it would have looked like fractional element. Okay and we would have been having sigma v, sigma h due to the condition when the backfill is horizontal. But now what has happened? The backfill has got inclined with an angle of i. So, geometrical compatibility is lost and the new geometrical compatible system would look like this, element would look like this. Is this okay? Your sigma v is acting perpendicular to the plane, not in the vertical direction. This is sigma h which could be PA or PP, all right. We we'll like to analyze this situation and by using simple concept of axis of rotation of the principal stresses which you had studied long back. You remember we did several cases for finding out the Mohr circle. If this is the element of the soil, 
sigma v is known, sigma h is known, this is the inclination plane theta and then you were supposed to find out the state of stress here, okay, at a point O which is passing through a plane inclined at an angle of theta. So, you are supposed to find out sigma tau as a function of sigma v, sigma h, theta, all right. And we did a reverse problem also. What we did is we created a situation where the element itself was inclined at an angle of theta. So, that means if this is the element of the soil which is sitting in a tangle of beta and then being acted upon by sigma v, sigma h and then you are supposed to find out it could be anything, it could be with respect to horizontal or I can also define the state of stress which is parallel to the surface inclination beta. So, it could be anything. Now, what we can do is we can use the concept of Mohr circle very easily to solve these type of problems. Any guess how? So, draw the Mohr circle. Okay. This is a more circle for frictional material. So, this becomes the failure envelope phi angle. What is the state of sigma 1, sigma 3? This is sigma 3, this is sigma 1, that means this is sigma z, sorry, sigma v and this is sigma h and sigma v is if this is the depth of a point from the horizontal backfill at a depth of z. So, this was equal to gamma into z, all right. Now, what has happened? Because of rotation with i angle, the state of stress which you have shown as sigma h sigma v has got rotated. So, this is the new state of stress which is going to act. This sigma v has gone from here to here and sigma h has gone from here to here. That is the only difference and this inclination is i. So, what I need to find out? I need to find out let us say k a coefficient of earth pressure under active earth pressure condition. Can I use the geometry to solve this problem? All right, perpendicular from the point of tangency at the center, draw a perpendicular from this center to this chord, this is perpendicular. We can connect the chord by the radius. Is this okay? We normally define this as O, C and we can take A and B as the two points here. So, this is A and this is B. We can have this as B and E. The most interesting thing here to follow is when I was 0, what was the value of Ka? Ka value was sigma h upon sigma v, correct? So, that means sigma 3 divided by sigma 1 
was the ka value is this all right now this is equal to oa divided by ob in the new system is this fine or not have you understood this thing rest is all geometry so the concept is axis rotation can still be depicted on the mohr circle as a rotation of the planes the value of k will be oa divided by ob if this point is clear rest is all simple to follow what is oa equal to oa is equal to now you can write in terms of od od minus da divided by ob od plus da and da is equal to db so this can also be written as dod minus db and db correct from this triangle o e c what can be obtained this is phi oc is common so ec is equal to oc into sin of phi is this is fine from triangle o d c we can obtain d c equal to o c sin of i and remember here we have used the equality a d equal to d b ec is nothing but the radius of the circle all right so now can you substitute for od what is od value od can also be written as oc cos of i because this angle is i od equal to oc cos of i fine and db equal to which is equal to ad so how will you find out db we can use another property of triangle dbc which is bc square equal to dc square plus db square so db is nothing but bc square minus dc square under root of and that will be equal to db so if you solve this expression what is that you are going to get and if you substitute it over here you will be getting ka will be equal to can you try this cos i minus under root of cos square i minus cos square phi divided by positive summations of these terms is it not so here this will be plus and rest of them will be same so this is the value of k which we have obtained now let us check it quickly 
if i is 0, what is going to happen? This will be 1 minus cos square phi over 1 minus cos square phi, this becomes cos of 0 is 1, 1 minus sin phi over 1 plus sin phi, correct. So that means whatever we have derived is alright. This is a good example of how axis of rotation can be utilized to compute the earth pressures which are acting on the walls. So we have discussed a lot of cases uh, for finding out the earth pressures which are acting on, on the retaining systems and now we are going to use these concepts to solve the problems which are happening in real life. Any questions?